question. Who is Drake? I mean, really. I'll be honest with you. I heard the name Drake once before, and that was a few years ago when somebody told me, hey, did you hear that Drake actually beat the Beatles record? I laughed then and I'm laughing now. Never had heard of him before, and I haven't been hearing about him ever since then until now. Where it's kind of in the news that uh, Drake supposedly conquered another Beatles record and surpassed the Beatles, and the idiot actually went ahead and tattooed on his arm here the iconic image of the four Beatles crossing Abbey Road, like the album cover. Only this time, he has himself pictured on his arm in front of the Beatles with his hand up, kind of in John Lennon's face, as if to say, make way for me, I'm the man. Are you kidding me? I mean, this stuff is hilarious. There's a few things I want to say. Well, first of all, uh, I've been hearing this kind of craziness for decades. I mean, I can't tell you, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that somebody has now surpassed the Beatles or was bigger than the Beatles, and you never hear of them again, I could be really pretty rich. I mean, I'd heard that the Bay City Rollers, who, you want to ask? That's right. Who, exactly. Bay City Rollers were bigger than the Beatles. I'd heard that the Knack was bigger than the Beatles. Slim Whitman was bigger than the Beatles and Elvis, you know. I mean, Menudo, In Sync, One Direction. Are you on and on and on the list goes? And of course, the whole time, the Beatles are always the standard by which everybody else has to be judged and by which everybody else has to has to kind of, uh, I'm going to try not to laugh because it's difficult, you know, has to kind of try to conquer, you know. There'll always be the, the, the template. The Beatles require no defending. So what I'm doing here is not so much defending the Beatles as it is exposing the nonsense. There's a difference. Um, well, in the case of Drake, you know, Drake is one individual artist. The Beatles are a group. So right there, there's a different distinction. Um and it's like apples and oranges. But, I mean, we're not going to start saying that Drake is bigger than Elvis Presley, are we? I mean, or Michael Jackson. Come on. Get real. Now, the Beatles were recording actively from 1963, really, to 1969. They had a single in the end of 1962, but pretty much the Beatles were active recording for only seven short years. And what they accomplished in seven short years is absolutely phenomenal, unique, and mind-blowing. Nobody else can do that. Nobody else has done that. Now, I did a little research on Drake before I made this video, and I found out that he's been in the music business since about 2007, so that would mean that he's had 12 years. So already he's had more time out there than the Beatles did. But forget that. Even bypassing that, more importantly, more significantly, you have to consider that now we have the internet and it opens up to the whole world whereas the internet didn't exist in the 1960s when the Beatles were here or the 70s or the 80s and on so it stands to reason that if the Beatles were so successful and had so many big hits so many number ones just back in the days when you had to go out and buy the record you see back then you had to physically go out get your ass up go into the store Plunk out your money and buy a physical record. If the Beatles were in the lead doing that, chances are, logic says that if they had the internet back in the 60s, the Beatles would have been a gazillion light years ahead of Drake now. Okay? And also, uh, from what I've understood, uh, there's a lot of songs these days when you have an album, if albums even really exist as albums anymore, you know, all of the songs go on Spotify or iTunes or whatever these music sites are, people can choose and pick like dozens and dozens and dozens of songs to download. You didn't have that option back then. Back then, like I said, you had to go to the store and buy the album, and there were none of, none of this stuff about every song was available to listen to and buy online. You know what I'm trying to say? That wasn't offered. Maybe from an album, the Beatles would have one single, maybe two singles in the United States. And in England, there were no singles that you, that went along with the album. You had to buy them separately. So it's a whole different uh, kettle of fish that we're talking about here. All right. Uh, also, I don't think that uh, 
years from now, we're going to be talking about conventions celebrating Drake 50 years from now. I don't think we're going to have Drake sound alike artists up on stage. I mean, come on. Where are the Bay City Roller conventions? Where are the Mac sound alike bands? They don't exist. They won't exist for Drake either. That's a pretty easy prediction to make. And then, most importantly of all, where are the iconic songs? Tell me, where's Yesterday? Where's Let It Be, The Long and Winding Road? You know, Hey Jude. On, you know, on and on and on. Strawberry Fields Forever. Where, 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 were, where are these iconic songs? I don't think years from now, college professors are going to be offering classes on how Drake changed music. You know, like they do with the Beatles. I don't think that's going to happen. I, I think it's a pretty safe bet. You're not going to be hearing those kind of classes offered up in the curriculum. It's just idiotic. We recently had the 50th anniversary of the Beatles' iconic Abbey Road cover where they crossed the street in England of Abbey Road. And just a few days ago, we had a mob there in England to celebrate 50 years after the fact. Get your head around that. So just because things are monitored differently and the way that music is now not the same, you can't gauge music now based on the way it used to be billboard, actually buying stuff physically, physical media, and now just clicking on all kinds of stuff. That's how it's determined today, by clicks, you know, and sitting on your seat at home conveniently, not having to get out and brave the weather and go out to the elements to go out and buy stuff. And now we have Drake saying, I got more slaps than the Beatles. Oh, is that what they call them now? Slaps? Let me tell you, there's, there's only one kind of slapping going on here for Drake, and it has nothing to do with music. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to be listening to Drake in restaurants 51 years from now. 